Hi Internet, there's no new tabletop this week, but there is a gag reel from last week's Shadows Over Camelot that I think is really quite funny and I believe you will enjoy. Real quick, before I get out of your way and let you watch that, I wanted to call your attention to a couple of things. Number one, if you enjoy tabletop, and presumably you do because you're watching this, and you enjoy Magic the Gathering, you're going to want to watch Sean Plott's new show. Uh, all of us at Geek and Sundry love Magic the Gathering. Now, we really can't play it on tabletop, so Sean Plott to the rescue, he plays a show where he uh, duels people in Magic the Gathering, uh, and he does about as well as I do on tabletop. It's really a lot of fun to watch, and I think you'll absolutely enjoy it. So check it out, and um, uh, maybe if enough people watch it and like it, uh, I'll join Sean sometime in the future uh, for a game that neither one of us will be able to win. Uh, that'll be really odd. It'll be like two uh, immovable objects facing each other across a large field and just not ever going anywhere. You know, because that makes sense. Um, also, I want to tell you that uh, I am on tour next week in Texas with Paul and Storm. I'm doing live shows in Austin, Dallas, and Houston, and you can find out all about them by going to my website, willwheaton.net, and clicking the personal appearances link. Uh, and finally, I wanted to tell you about a thing that I love that's weird and awesome, uh, that, uh, that, that has nothing to do with any of the stuff we do on the show, but is still interesting to me, and as is my duty, internet, I like to share with you new interesting things. When I was a kid, I had a shortwave radio, and I listened to uh, uh, all kinds of weird broadcasts from all over the world, and one of the things that I loved was every now and then I would stumble across these weird monotone voices reading recordings of uh, strings of numbers. I found out that they're called numbers stations, and there is a collection of numbers stations recordings called the Conant Project. It is fascinating and weird and creepy and so great for creating beds to go underneath like ambient music and things like that. But what's great is that everybody thinks the number stations were recorded by, uh, by, by like Cold War spies and stuff and they're still kind of going on. So anyway, there is this thing called the Conant Project and I just think you should check it out. I want lots of people to, uh, to buy it so that Erdiel Discs, who puts it out, will uh, make more of them. So go to erdiel.com slash conet.html. And uh, until next week, play more games! Around the 6th century BCE, according to legend, look, I'm already f***ing up. Already f***ing up. It was perfect. It was great. I mean, it was like, it was amazing. Was I had saved us 25 minutes. We'll assume the roles of Arthur and his knights as we do a thing. Cox, cocks and balls and butts. King Arthur of Britain defended his country from Saxons and Picts, found the Holy Grail, something, 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 shadows over Camelot. The traitor will be working throughout the entire game to very cleverly and secretively undermine all the other loyal Camelot guys. <laughs> the game ends when we place, oh, I forgot about completing quests. Shit, balls, shit. If there are seven, seven, which is a new letter I invented, you can call me, my phone number is seven, seven, seven swords, seven. If there are seven black swords, the bad guys win. Wait a minute, hold on, hold on, wait, hang on, I'm getting there. I'm getting it, it's coming back, I'm coming back. It's right. I know what I did wrong. Everything. 50% of those catapults are scale reproductions. <laughs> They're merely decorative. Hmm. I want to. I want to bring some excitement to the humdrum streets. Of course you do. Uh, are you done frolicking with the king near the pond? Uh, we could perhaps uh, place some garden gnomes <clears throat> and other whimsical. Yeah. Perhaps a, exactly a, a right. statue of a naked child peeing. <laughs> I'm sorry. We are having such a good time. We're having such a good time by the lake surfers. <laughs> I love this game. It's one of the uh, constant. Uh, appearances in my <laughs> cockballs. Oh. Hmm. That's okay. It's okay. I will fall. I will fall upon my sword as I reach for another. <laughs> I like it. That's good. That's yeah. that's how we do things here in camera business. <laughs> Did I remember? I said don't say bad words. <laughs> and the king is mostly like Twilight Sparkle, 
because she's very smart and heads thing off, except that he's a traitor. So then he ruins Twilight Sparkle because she's all good. Will, you do not deserve Twilight Sparkle. I don't even care if you're a brony because it counts it out. Now obviously that is only if That's you happen to have the quest for the grail in your heart. Restoring. It's not really in my heart. <laughs> not even a little tiny no, bit? No. <laughs> There's not a little bit of grail in there? Okay. Don't like cups? Understood. I don't know if you heard it, but it's a great cup. Like it's a, it won cup of the year, like <laughs> two years running, two years in a row. Really? Was, yeah, oh yeah, wow. cup, cup yeah, of the yeah. year. County fair. It was. State yeah. fair. There's no better hmm. cup. But right. if hey, you know, blue ribbon. Who am yeah. I to judge? Mmm. Put some salami in my teeth. <laughs> Save that for later. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Is that, that yeah. some traitor? Oh food? no, no. It's no. It was just intestine. Yeah. I mean, I mean, natural casing. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Listen, I just want to sleep in my castle. I don't want a lot of partying happening out here. <laughs> you kids yeah. with, with your minstrels parties happening. And, and your sticks with bells on them okay. and taking, your juggling I'm taking a hit point. and other medieval things. Okay. Okay. Bunch of bards. Cut your hair. Wow. <laughs>